Welcome back to the Laser Smart Home. Today we're just going to show you a couple of handy troubleshooting steps you can apply if you're having issues connecting your Laser Smart device to the Smart Life app. Okay, so first of all, we're just going to have a quick look at the app and then we'll get into some tips, some troubleshooting steps. So you should already have this Smart Life app installed. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is show you the traditional method of connecting this device and some errors that you may face along the way. Okay, so um, we've got the device plugged in here. Okay, so we'll just put it into pairing mode. We'll just press and hold this button for about five seconds until we get a blinking light. Okay, fast blinking light you can see there. Okay, then we just quite simply select add a device. Okay, so the first issue you'll probably be faced with is this screen here. So not being sure of which category your product falls into and which exact type. In general, um, you know, you, if you have a lighting device, you'll have to go into lighting. If you've got a... Uh, doorbell or security camera you'd normally have to go to smart camera okay but then within these you've got these subcategories wi-fi zigbee bluetooth etc so if you're not sure it can be quite problematic okay so just as an fyi all laser smart devices currently are wi-fi only okay but if you're not sure of which particular category or which particular subcategory that yours falls into the quickest and easiest way to pair would be just straight away go to the Others section and then select Others Wi-Fi. Okay, so that's it. All laser products in the Smart Home range will be able to connect via this Others Wi-Fi. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and select that anyway. Now it says Confirm an indicator light is rapidly blinking. We know that that's correct as we can see in the back there. Okay, now this next little section is actually quite important. Quite simply, make sure you're only on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. Okay, next thing that's quite important is knowing your password. Okay, so it's important that we test that password first. Now the easiest way to do this is to grab another device that's connected to Wi-Fi, log that device out, and then connect to the Wi-Fi again where you have to type in the actual password. Okay, so um, knowing that we've got the correct password and the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection, uh, we're just going to go ahead and try and pair this. Now this device has actually stopped being in pairing mode, so I'll quickly just do that again. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in and try and connect. Okay, so as we can see, this is pretty much going to be a failure. Okay, and at the end of it, you'll get an error message and it will not tell you what that error was. For example, you don't know if you've typed in the wrong password, uh, if it was on a 5 gigahertz network, or, you know, that the access point was too far away. We're just going to go back and I will show you a very stable way to set up another internet connection that you can guarantee will work. Okay, so let's just pick up another mobile phone with, which has a SIM card in it with um, data with a data connection, so mobile data. So if you've got a mobile phone with that, not the same phone that you've actually got the Connect app on because you can't give this device its own hotspot. So it has to come from another device. So we're going to set up a hotspot now. Now here I am on a Google phone or an Android phone. On this one, you simply swipe down from the top and you should see a mobile hotspot option there. Okay, you can simply tap that to enable it or you can go into settings, connections and mobile hotspot and tethering. So we go in there, we tap mobile hotspot, we turn that on. Okay, there you'll see a message, turn it on, say okay. Now, we can go ahead and give this hotspot a name. 
Okay, you can literally call it whatever you like, but when you're searching for a Wi-Fi connection, this is what will come up. So something that's easily recognizable for yourself is probably best. Okay, now I've set the password quite simply as 12345678. That's because there's no way I'll forget that. Okay, so you can set the password to whatever you like and then just click save. Okay, now that's done. So we've got a hotspot already set up on this phone, as you can see with this little icon there. On an Apple device, the process is very similar. I think you swipe up from here. No, it might be, I think that one there, this little icon. But guaranteed way to turn it on is just to go into settings and then mobile. And you'll have the option here, set up personal hotspot. Okay. So just to quickly show you that on the Apple. Okay, now let's go back into the Smart Life app. Okay. Now, we'll just go back to adding a device. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this back into pairing mode. Okay. And let's go ahead and connect. So we go others. Others Wi-Fi. Okay, we've got a blinking indicator light there. Let's confirm that. Now let's switch this mobile network to the hotspot that we set up earlier. Okay, so we know that that one's called Smart Life. Okay, now what's the password? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Join. Okay. Okay, you see that there's a little tick there next to Smart Life that says it's connected. Now we just go back to the app and make sure that's selected that. And we'll just put in the password again. Okay, so you can see that's all good. Let's confirm. So let's just wait for that. Okay, so, and there we have it. It's all set up. Okay, you can call it whatever you like as normal. Okay, you can give it a, um, a particular section of the house. In any case, now you can see that that's all set up. And we'll just uh, show you. Okay, so as you can see, the lights turn blue and turn red when I turn it off. So as you can see, that's now working when previously it would not connect at all. So if you're having trouble, Connecting your device, guys, just quickly set up a hotspot on another mobile device or try another Wi-Fi network and uh, you should be good to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.